Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, clay block video. A bunch of you guys have been requesting to see this. What we're going to compare today, 22LR versus a 25 caliber PCP or 25 caliber lead pellet versus that 22LR, like I said. Got as close to the same projectiles as I could. This right here is a Remington Golden Bullet. It's a 36 grain hollow point. And then these right here, this is an H&N 36 grain slug. I keep getting sweat bees out here. It's hot today. So both of these are 36 grain projectiles. I'm going to go back to 100 yards and hit this clay. Now, I know what a bunch of you guys are thinking. Well, we're going to do some kind of nerdy math stuff and take the speed of these and the grain of these and divide it by the circumference of the equator. Well, that kind of was the plan. But I forgot my chronograph, so we can't measure the speeds. We'll do some of that nerdy stuff in another video probably next week. But today, what we're going to take a look at is just the real live action 100 yards, 22LR 36 grain versus 100 yards, 25 caliber hollow point on the clay and then based upon that evidence of the clay big old hole in it or whatever we will see which one has the most power let me get these targets set up we'll go back to 100 yards slap this clay as hard as we can with both of these and just see which one does the most damage check out this hollow point of that 25 pretty wicked pretty wicked and i'll put it beside that 22 hollow point but comment down below don't cheat which do you think is going to do the most damage i think these 22s are around don't quote me but 1200 feet per second maybe 1300 and i honestly have no earthly idea how fast this 25 is going so but we're going to see from the damage what does the most damage let me set these cameras up go back to 100 yards and we're going to flank them I'll start with the 22. Hopefully get dead center. Let me make a little push button on it here and have my aim point. Aim for that nose. But let's do it. See what happens. All right, here we go. For the 22 LR, I got my CZ. What is this? Uh, 457. You might think I'd remember that kind of stuff, but nope. CZ 457 with those Remington Golden Bullets. I kind of get the feeling that the 22 is going to do more damage because it's going faster, but we're facing to find out. I'm just going to do one shot of each. Here we go. Hopefully I hit pretty dead center with both of them. Here's the 22 here. Oh, we definitely got a good hit there. Now, let's pick up this 25. Now, I'll give y'all a good look at this 25. This is my Air Venturi Avenger that I picked up from Pyramid Air. It's regulated, super, super sweet. And this Avenger model does not break the bank. Coolest thing about it is that it's regulated. So I've got some pretty much same whole groups with this thing. Yeah, let me square it up. Big shout out to Pyramid Air. That's where I've been picking up all my air gun stuff. You guys know that watch the channel, I've been doing quite a bit of uh, air gun, this PCP stuff here recently. The boo lights are a whole lot cheaper to pick up, especially more than the center fire stuff. But if y'all hadn't heard of Pyramid Air, y'all go check them out. They are the oldest and the biggest online seller of all of this air stuff. Now, let's see if I can get me a good shot here on this 25 with the 36 grain. I can get better groups with this, believe it or not, than that 22. This uh, Avenger is pretty sweet. So you gotta load it. Got it, let's go down there and take a look. All right, so walking up to it, this one on the left is the 22. This one on the right is the 25. 
Got a square enough hit on both of them. See the 22 did quite a bit more damage at least from the perspective of the front of it. 25 looks like it might have gone out the back. We know the 22 did. See not the back right there. Let's look at the back. Get around here to where the light's not too crazy. Shoot, let me move those so we can see the back of them. So here's the back end of the 22. And then here's the back end of the 25. The 25, surprisingly enough, still went through all this clay. I get about as thick a clay as my fingers there. And this is pretty hard stuff right there. I've had it in the shade, not out here in the heat. So each one of these is about 12 pounds of clay and probably about five inches thick. So the 25 definitely didn't do as much damage as that 22. But it was still enough buggy to push through all of that thick, hard clay and out the back. Let's look at the front again. Here's the 25. And then, here's the 22. Pretty, pretty cool. I think the evidence there shows that the 22 LR, a tad bit more powerful, probably has something to do with the speed. But, before we end this video, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the camera back on those and just unload those on the clay have a little bit more fun first will be the 22 and then the 25 that 25 is actually a repeater magazine fed which is pretty cool you just cock it and send them pretty sweet Here's taking another look at them there. I think we got three hits with the 22 and a little more hits than that with the 25. Spin it around there. Yeah. Made a big old hole in the top of that 25 and then you can see those that hit more dead center made a little bit bigger hole there. And there's those 22 hits there. A little bit bigger on the back end. 25 pellets and a 22 LR rim fire. All right, there you have it, guys. 25 versus the 22. Comment down below which one that you prefer. I think from the evidence on the clay there, the 22 slapped it a little bit harder. I think that 22 is going a little bit faster. We're going to have to chronograph these in another video. But the coolest thing about things like this 25 Avenger here, these can be shipped to your house and you don't have to worry about any of the paperwork or anything. You can go somewhere like PyramidAir.com, order this sucker, and they ship it right to your house. That's the coolest thing and the biggest difference. Also, you can get pellets that are pretty, pretty cheap for these Air Boo Slingers. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below if you want to see more like this. Maybe we ought to catch these in some water and see how they expand. That would probably be a cool video. Comment down below if you want to see that. But appreciate y'all watching. We will see you guys on the next one. Hoo -hoo. Load it up and get all the zoomies you can. Bye.